another step. You know, as technology is changing, we need to take advantage of it and utilize it. Fighting the flu in Warren City Schools. The district wants to keep everyone healthy. Now, today was a scheduled day out of class. So, district leaders thought it was the perfect opportunity to help prevent kids from getting sick. First News reporter Nadine Grimley checked out how the district is spraying the germs away. On any other Monday, Willard pre K through 8 would be filled with students and teachers. But on this waiver day, for the most part, only maintenance workers were seen in the halls and classrooms, spraying down touch points like computers and chairs in an effort to fight off the flu. Our goal is to raise our attendance uh, another couple of percent and keep the kids in the seats and keep them healthy. Inside those spray guns is a hospital grade disinfectant made up of water and saline solution. The gun or electrostatic spraying system charges the mixture as it comes out. The furniture has a negative charge and this saline solution gets a positive charge. So it goes right to the surface, wraps around instead of just floating around in the air. The district started using this method of disinfecting at the end of last school year. Now they spray everything down about two to three times a week. It's one of several reasons why district leaders believe their flu numbers are relatively low, with only about 20 confirmed cases as of Friday at the elementary level. Four of those were staff out of the district's 5,000 students. We attribute everything that we're doing from hand washing, um, intentional conversations in our classroom with our, with our students, as well as the um, preventative and paying it forward approach with maintenance to keeping our kids uh, healthy and safe. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.